Welcome back to the community, everybody, and thank you for being here. I truly appreciate it. And to my new subscribers, welcome aboard. It's a great group that has completely grown over the year. This is a short video this week. Christmas is three days away. So I think it's three days. Yeah, pretty sure. <laughs> I wanted to at least take out the time and wish everyone a Merry Christmas and thank everybody who's watched the videos, participated in the comment section and really taking time to send me emails, which I truly appreciate, and being part of the community. It's been a really great year. Uh, next week, I'll be doing my review for the year, and that's gonna be a fun video. It's gonna take me three, four days to actually do it, but it's gonna be what happened in 2021 in the garage with Slade, and of course, all you folks. And it'll show everything we did throughout the year together. I think it'll be a fun video to do. I'll uh, narrate through it and slip in videos. And truthfully, after that, we'll be back in the garage to work. We have a lot to do. Uh, the 68 obviously is tore down completely now. And we've went through a couple engine blocks, checking them out, prepping to see which one we're gonna use. Haven't decided on which motor to build yet. Uh, it's gonna have some power. I don't any, think anything crazy, I'm not sure yet. We'll decide that together. We've already decided on a color. We're down to two, so we're almost there. But Christmas is days away. I hope everybody is safe, healthy, and happy, and everything has gone great for you this year. It's been a rough year, folks, but we made it through together, and that's what matters. So let's take out a minute, and we'll stop down the house, and let's check out the lights in the tree if you're interested, and everything that we got decorated up for Christmas. So let's go down and take a peek. Okay, so we made it down to the house from the garage. My garage is about 50 feet from my house, so I wish it was built onto it, but probably not a good idea for the noise that I make and the smells that I create in there with chemicals. So. This is our little country winter tree on the porch here. Our country Santa, you can see in a picture here. And that is something Heather loves on the porch and we have our two wicker chairs set up. Although we can't sit out in the winter, obviously. But, and we keep our old sleigh out here. And just a couple of other things, but I thought you'd like to see that. So come on, let's go inside. Okay, so we're inside. We made it because it is cold out. Okay, just going to show you around a little bit. I know this is probably boring, but it means a lot to me, especially for those of you that really follow me and watch me do remodels on the bathroom. I was showing pictures of and boring you. I'm going to bore you again today. So let me get the camera. Okay, so here is our living room at Christmas time. A little bit of everything to see. Heather makes a lot of our framed photos, which I think is really cool and unique. She likes to decorate pretty much everything to make it comfortable. It's almost like everywhere you look, there's something to see. And she always does a couple uh, little winter wonderland trees near the television. Oh, there's Lily's stocking, a Rottweiler, a little bear. And these are two trees. One's three foot and one's probably about six foot right around there. So it's kind of unique that she puts those up. She kind of does a little bit of everything here. Our little countdown. So it is three days, I couldn't remember. That's terrible. And there's a very cool Santa from the 60s. That's from when I was a baby. Kind of creepy looking, huh? cards that people have sent. I've actually got to get uh, more up. I've got a bunch of them in there. Oh, and there's a demon dog. And that's also from the 60s. Kind of cool. Little 
mechanical, uh, excuse me, a little mechanical there. And there's the tree all lit up. We do a 60s style with the old style bulbs. Here, let me hit a switch and turn on the, the train. <coughs> Here, I'll actually turn on the dining room lights to brighten it up a little. Raven, no. A little bit of everything in the tree. More uh, old school than anything. And there's our little HS Gale train. And of course, the little houses and streets and all that. And then, of course, the gifts. Lots of gifts. All the way over. Little manger scene. That's actually real. That's Heather's mom. Lots of stuff that we pick up from everywhere over the years. Really nice. She's in her baking cookies, so I don't want to mess with her. But I thought it would be cool to show you around a little bit. And I'm being followed by a dog. Okay. So that was my Christmas video for the year. I hope it didn't bore anybody and I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I thought it'd be something unique this year to take you through and show you the decorations. Christmas is always very special with my family and I'm sure with many of you. Not everybody celebrates Christmas and I understand that. Uh, but for those of you that do, I thought maybe you would like that. As you notice, we do our tree in more of a 60s, 70s style with the larger light bulbs. Almost like if you remember a uh, Christmas story. <laughs> but anyhow, I believe that was from the 40s. But I want to thank everybody for being here and being part of the community that was growing here over the year much quicker than I anticipated. And I'm very, very thankful for that. Uh, make sure you spend time with your family and friends. I hope everybody had a safe, healthy, happy year. And it's the end of the year now, so it's time for us to do our donation. We always donate to St. Jude's Children's Hospital. And that's what we'll be doing in about a week or two here. Heather cuts a check and sends it in. And I'm not trying to run an infomercial here. However, it really does help the children. Parents can take their children there with no insurance, no money, and their child can get the health care that they need and I think that's something very special because as Heather always says children are the weak link they need that help some families don't have insurance or have money so that's what I choose to donate to yearly and I hope maybe some of you will give consideration to that I'm not saying to donate to me but maybe to St. Jude's Children's Hospital if you can that would be really great I hope Santa's good to everybody this year I hope you get a lot of Volkswagen parts and I hope you spend time with your family and have some dinner maybe do something for somebody nice that doesn't have much I'll see you next week with a yearly review and then back in the garage Merry Christmas